In this video, we are going to be simulating an RP, RPL border router uh, to simulate how, an, how a syslofa network is able to communicate with the outside uh, world. You know, in an IoT network, uh, which is formed from uh, IP version syslofa network, IP version syslofa wireless personal area network, we have what we call the IoT devices that have uh, sensors attached to them. Now, after collecting uh, data, they transfer the data to the border router, and then the border router will now communicate to the outside world to transfer that uh, data so that uh, the owner of that network can be able to access that data via the internet. All right, so that is what we are going to do. We are going to create a simple border router and see how we can be able to communicate with that uh, border router via an external uh, network. Uh, so the border router that uh, the border router in a network in a successful local network inside our kuja and then we'll be able to communicate with it from the host computer that the uh, kuja is running on. So I am already in the kuja directory. Now I'm going to launch the kuja. So I'm going to run the command sudo uh, sudo uh, for this uh to, lock, to run this border router we need to uh, give it a uh, privilege permission that is uh, admin uh, privilege so i'm going to use sudo uh, sudo so sudo and run i'm going to hit enter now it require my password i'm going to enter my password so i've entered the password now kuja is going to launch and i'm going to proceed to create my simulation all right, so uh, the Kuja simulator has launched. Now I'm going to create a new simulation. I'll just come over here, file, and create new simulation. And I'm going to uh, name it uh, border router simulation. So I'll call it border router. All right, so border router. I'm going to create it now. All right, so I have my simulation uh, environment up and running. Now the next thing what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add mode. So I'm going to come here, mode, add mode, create new mode type. And I'm going to select sky mode. Now next, I'm going to browse here, and I'm going to go to the uh, RPL border router. Uh, this is it. I'm going to open it. Uh, RPL border router open, and then I'm going to select border router.c open. I'm going to compile it, and then I'm going to create it. I'm going to just one mode is okay. Okay, so now next I need to add another uh, mode again, which is going to be a client mode. So I'll just come over here, mode, uh, add mode, uh, create new mode type, sky mode. And then I'll come over here, browse, I'll go back, RPL uh, UDP, and then I will select UDP client.c, open. And then I'm going to compile it, I'm going to create it. Uh, just one mode is okay. All right, so I'll make sure that they are within the same transmission range. I'm going to move this here so that they are in the same uh, transmission range. Make sure they are in the same transmission uh, range. All right, so now next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this uh, uh, the border router. I'm going to right click on it, select option more tools for sky, and then uh, more tools for sky, and then select the serial socket uh, server. I'm going to select it and then I will let me return this to where it is. And then now I can uh, start this serial socket server and then I'll also go and start the simulation control uh, and start the simulation. So I'll st click on start here and then click on start here as well. Okay. So next, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to the uh, my terminal here. I'm going to run this command, uh, make target kuja, uh, connect router kuja. So I'm going to enter to require my password. All right, so now, uh, now our network is up and running. We can see the border router and we can see the IP address of the border router. Uh, we can even be able to ping the border router inside the external network. Use uh, within this our native, uh, within this our host uh, Ubuntu machine that is hosting this Kuja simulator. So I'll just go to another win, uh, another terminal window. I'm going to ping it, ping six. I can be able to ping the IP address of the border router. I'm just paste it. I'm going to hit enter. 
So as you can see, we are being able to uh, ping the uh, border router that is in the six local network. So we have been able to establish a communication within the uh, establish a communication to the RPL uh, border router from an external uh, network. We have been able to assess a node within the six lofan uh, wireless uh, personal area network. So thank you for taking your time to watch this uh, video tutorial.